Today we are going to talk about uh, rounding fractions to the nearest half. So um, we have some fractions here and rounding to the nearest half basically means that we're going to round to either zero, uh, one half, or one. Now this zero and one can be replaced. Uh, let's say I have a mixed number of five and uh, one quarter. This would be replaced with five, five and a half, or six, right? So rounding the nearest half basically just means rounding to either a whole number or, uh, you know, a half between a whole number, right? So um, in this case, a quarter is actually smack dab in the middle of five and um, one half, and I guess if you were to follow um, that, you know, when you're rounding to the nearest ten, five, um, five rounds up, I guess this would round up to the nearest, to five and a half, but anyway, it's equally um, close to each of these. Uh, but let's um let's get into uh actually rounding to the nearest half um so three-fifths now there is no half of five technically two and a half is half of five but what we can do if we have an odd number here is we can actually just multiply this by two over 2, and then it becomes 6 tenths. And then we are looking basically for this numerator. Is the numerator closest to 0? Is it closest to half of 10, which would be 5? Or is it closest to 10? Obviously, 6 is closest to 5. So this would estimated be about one half. Okay, now we have seven tenths. Now is seven close closest to zero, five, or ten? Well, it's two away from five, and it's three away from ten. So this would also be about one half. Now, 9 over 11. Uh, now, I can once again multiply this by 2 over 2. 9 times 2 is 18 over 22. And in this case, I'm looking at um, what's closer, 0, 11, or 22, right? Because I'm judging by the denominator. Uh, a 22 in the numerator is 1, an 11 in the numerator is 1 half, and 0 in the numerator is obviously 0. So 18 is closer to 22, right? Because it's 4 away from 22, 7 away from 11. So that means that it would be about 1, right? Uh, so estimated it's close to one it's about one so now we have something like this where they say estimate this to the nearest half and what they want you to do is say all right three-fifths is close to a half is rounded to a half nine elevenths is rounded to one and then one half plus one equals one and a half so that is um, basically rounding to the nearest half, estimating to the nearest half, 
if they ask you to estimate something to the nearest half like this, all you're doing is rounding the, the fractions to the nearest half first and then adding those rounded values. So 1 half plus 1 equals 1 and a half in this case. So um, hopefully that is, uh, is helpful.